Hey guys, John Madden from YouGoProBaseball.com and today we're going to talk about relacing a baseball glove. Well, we're not really just going to talk about it, I'm actually going to show you um, some of the tips and tricks that I use when relacing a baseball glove. My glove that I'm using, the current glove that I'm using, actually has some uh, torn up laces, some broken laces and uh, you know I wanted to go ahead and repair it while it's on camera so I can show you guys how to do it. Um, let me show you some of the uh, tools that we use when relacing a baseball glove. I'm going to show you the tools that I use, where you can get them, um, and just some other some other tips that I <coughs> like to use when relacing a baseball glove. So this is my little my little kit here that I use. Um, this tool right here is going to be our puncher. This is what we're going to punch the hole in the lace with. And then we're going to feed it through. Uh, I don't know what this is called. This one's called the puncher, punch tool, I guess. Um, this one is like a U needle or something like that. So after the hole's punched in there, we're going to slide that through, and then we can just push this through the through the baseball glove. Um, then this one's just a punch. It's uh, to make the hole the holes wider in the lace. If your gloves, is, you know, gotten old or tightened up, or if you need just more space, you could just punch this through. It also can feed the lace. See, you put the lace through there. The only bad thing about this is it has the handle. So once you get it through the glove you're gonna have to you know take the lace out and then you know put the lace in again so this one's a little tough to do that with but if you have a tough hole you know you can use this for one hole and then go back to this one um, you really don't need this much they sell some of these like the big I don't know if you remember the, the ones with the red handle the ones they used to sell that's the one I grew up that's the one I used growing up relacing my gloves but um, you know this this tool right here is, is much better um, for the glove much quicker um, and then this one is obviously just to cut the laces when you're done um, so this this particular kit that I that I had comes with the bag and all this stuff and they send you laces um, these laces are a little bit uh, thin kinda not so great I, I don't you know I don't want to use those laces for relacing my gloves so I bought some some other laces and I'll leave you a link where to get all this stuff where to get the kit where to get the laces um, and everything in the description box if you're watching this on YouTube or if you're on the website I'll leave you links there see you can tell this this uh, this lace right here is a little bit better a little thicker just just a little more durable than these so that's what we're gonna use today I'll, like I said I'll leave you leave you a link of where I got everything so you can get get everything you're looking for also we've got uh, some of the 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 glove classic conditioner from Nakona um, and this is what I use to um, you know you gotta condition your glove after you release it you just don't want it all dirty also though you want to get a little bit of this on your on your lace before you go to thread it it's just a little trick to help the th the laces go through the the holes easier so you take this and you just rub it on your laces just a little bit rub it on your laces so that they slide through the holes a little bit easier um, and I'll leave a link where I got this um, I actually got this as like a um, as a package for when I'm doing the um, breaking in the glove it came with this thing here came with the mallet to break in the glove I'll talk more about that in another video but um, I'll, I'll leave a link where to get this stuff too um, the other thing you need is obviously a glove um, you can see my glove here is this is where one of the laces broke off here and then I had to tie it tie another piece over here missing a hole over there so we're gonna go ahead and relace the whole thing and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now I'm gonna go ahead and unlace everything take all the laces out I don't recommend doing this if it's your first time you know I've relaced 100 gloves already so you know I know what, where they're supposed to go and stuff if you're doing it for the first time I would suggest taking it out piece by piece and then putting it back together that way um, so you don't get lost um, but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and unlace everything so I can get it done a lot quicker um, so I'm gonna do that and then we'll start the video back up when I start lacing it back up alright so I got the laces as you can see off of the glove um, there's the web over there the fingers are out um, got the wristband out the heel and the web everything's out what I like to do at this point is actually get a little condition um, conditioner 
and just condition the glove a little bit because you know now when it's open like this you get to get in the little nooks and crannies that you don't you know you might not get to when the, the glove is all nice and tightened up also you want to hit up your laces um, with just a little bit of the uh, of the conditioner um, just so they go through the holes a little bit easier um, and what I forgot to mention before is you probably for a glove like this with a with a regular web you're probably gonna need about three you can get away with three um, three sets of laces that's I think they're 72 inches each um, but if you got a trapeze glove you're probably looking at more like four um, four laces four sets of 72 inch laces so um, we're gonna see if we can try to get away with three um, on this glove here I think that should be enough um, if we do it right the, f the first time so we'll see what we get